okay uh, now we are in part two <coughs> if you check your email you will find there are two more email from the web host triple uh, zero web host first, first one with your login detail email and password and second one with your how you will uh, login into your control panel just uh, click on the uh, uh, access control panel of uh, uh, members dot triple uh, zero web host dot com uh, whenever you want to uh, log in your control panel you just log in using members dot triple zero web host dot com so we are clicking on that <coughs> So give it, give your email address here and uh, uh, the password you have entered during your account opening. Give the email and submit. It will uh, log in. Uh, after log uh, logging in, you will find your website address and uh, status active. Go to the C panel. I mean control panel. After going to the control panel, you will see the. <coughs> uh, 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 control panel options. I mean, there are many options: main, menu, domains. You can add subdomain, uh, additional domain. You can open email addresses, email forwardings, other useful stuff are here. And uh, the important section is files. You can view your FTP account from view FTP details. You can use file manager, online file manager, for transferring uh, and uh, receiving files uh, and uh, there are other services called fantastic auto installer in fantastic auto installer you, you can use uh, uh, it for automatically install wordpress and other uh, popular scripts like joomla php bb drupal various scripts are there you can install it by one click since it is a free uh, web hosting will not use this one because it will take a uh, uh, huge time to install in uh, our web hosting account. So, if it is a uh, paid hosting, I mean, when we will purchase our paid hosting, we can use this one click installer for uh, installing WordPress and other things. So, now we will uh, learn how to integrate our FTP client that is FileZilla uh, with this uh, uh, hosting account. So for, for downloading FileZilla, just uh, Google it, file, FileZilla download, and in the first uh, result you will find uh, FileZilla project.org slash download.php. Clicking on that, you will go to this. Uh, 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 if you click this one, I mean, if you click this uh, FileZilla client download, you will redirect it to the download page. You can uh, install it uh, by uh, just directly download now clicking, or you can see other available file uh, download options. We'll uh, use the zip options uh, so that it is quicker to download. If you click this zip uh, option, uh, and the file Jilla download uh, file, I mean zip file should be automatically uh, downloaded from this site. So if you st uh, just start download, it will uh, download. I will not download it uh, to save the time because uh, to save the time because I have already downloaded it. I have already downloaded it my uh, <coughs> computer. Uh, uh, here it is, FileZilla 371. If you uh, create another folder like FileZilla, uh, if you just uh, extract here i mean the file unzip if you unzip the file then it will uh, come to this uh, folder after clicking this folder you will file an exe file filezilla.exe with the logo i mean fz logo just double click on that <coughs> it will be installed like any other normal software after installing this uh, exe file you will find at your uh, desktop there is a icon called filezilla client if you click on that filezilla client it will require host name username and password to log into your uh, hosting account for having this uh, information you just go to your triple zero web host account and uh, at the right side there is uh, uh, there is indication of the uh, all the things but we will take the uh, FTP login details from the files section, view FTP details.
Okay, uh, uh, view FTP details. Uh, we are having the host name as our web uh, website name, rajwebsite90.net, and username is the this one. FTP username and password. You can change this password. I mean, you can change or create this uh, password from forward FTP password option. I mean, uh, if you click this. Uh, uh, change password it will uh, come to a section where you can put the new password so if if the existing password does, uh, do not work you can change the password from here <coughs> so I'm, I'm just giving the uh, password which I have entered here this password basically I have changed uh, I have uh, uh, just changed from uh, clicking on the change password option it is better to uh, okay here we go the FTP client has been uh, successfully uh, logged in I mean directory listing successful when you see this directory listing successful you uh, should treat that the, uh, the uh, software has been connected with the uh, server so it has been connected after connecting this uh, <coughs> you will see the public if HTML option public underscore HTML and we will do all our files uploads downloads editing everything uh, 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 by going this uh, <coughs> public HTML just double click it it will uh, automatically redirect it to the uh, public HTML so in there there are the different files you just uh, log in to your website rajwebsite90.com here you will find that your site is up and running so uh, here uh, there is an instruction please delete file default php so we will uh, delete the default php file from here just delete default php file delete but uh, if we de delete this default php file there will be no anything at our site to show because we have uh, deleted our default php file so there is no file there is nothing to show at our uh, site so we will create a file html simple index html file just html head to head body to body so we'll write anything uh, under body to body and in title we are going to create our test website test website just title test website and uh, in body we will use an h1 tag h1 tag h1 tag closing okay and under this uh, h1 tag we write something wow we have we have done it so uh, uh, just save it. I am using this Notepad++ or Notepad software. Uh, you just uh, save it name index.html. Index file basically is a default file which uh, runs with the <coughs> software. So we are uh, saving it as index.php uh, file where we have saved and uh, drag it. Okay, in, a, in, in a desktop we have saved a file called index.html. So we can uh, uh, give detail, uh, little style here. Those who know some coding, we can uh, give some style like uh, font size. Font size is uh, 25 pixel and margin top. Margin top, uh, let's say 150 pixel. Margin left, margin left, uh, hundred pixel. So this is a uh, this is our uh, this is going to our website file, and we can upload it through our FTP software. We should go to our FTP software, look at the desktop, and uh, in desktop we should have a file called index.html. And we should look at this index.html file. Okay, probably it is not done. Index.html. Okay, here is it is index.html. If we upload this at our public HTML folder, 
uh, just by clicking right arrow upload okay there we go our directory listing is successful that means index.html file has been uploaded uh, at our server under public html and uh, if we refresh it uh, refresh our website the index.html file would, should be there at our website okay this is the uh, thing we have had i mean in our website there is a line called wow we have done it okay and if we uh, basically uh, modify it and again we can uh, it, it, we can upload at the server like we, we have modified font size 36 margin top uh, basically 250 margin left 200 i mean margin left 200 or something like this 250 uh, and we can change the color also color f06 and we can again uh, refresh the file and upload it to the server this time when we upload it it will uh, see uh, uh, it will come a dialog box and uh, uh, it will see whether we can we will overwrite this file and we will just click ok since it has already indexed HTML, that is why it is come. So we can just refresh it our uh, again, our website again. Okay, the color has not come yet. I mean, uh, margin top, margin left, and font size bigger, but color probably has some problem. Color should have a hash sign for this. So <coughs> we are again uploading it. Get okay, your listing successful. Now we refreshed it. Our color has been changed. So this this way we will we can have our website uh, files upload and download through this uh, uh, FTP software. Through this FTP software we can just mod we can modify the files, folders. We can download I and mean, even we can download this in the system and file to our local server. Whatever we do at our index.html uh, <coughs> uh, file, I mean, uh, whatever we upload under this index uh, public HTML, uh, our website will show this, show that file. Even we can create a, a folder, I mean, subfolder at our uh, website, like create directory. I mean, if we create a new <coughs> new file directory over here. So uh, after our website, if we write new file, and uh, like this, after website, if we, if we write new file, then uh, there should be <coughs> under this new file whatever we uh, want to put it will find. Okay, seems it uh, it is just some uh, problem connection time out. Uh, one more thing is in free hosting you will uh, find sometimes error in. Uh, connection because it is not a uh, uh, paid service it will give some sort of pain sometimes it will not no, it will uh, uh, new file <laughs> again we are creating new file okay this time it has been uh, <coughs> corrected and if we index this uh, i mean if, if we if the index file we upload under new file then we should have like this if we upload the new index file under the new file folder then we can have our uh, website at our new file folder see the uh, new file folder uh, contains the same content like if we uh, we can create folder also If we do it, if uh, we have modified it, and again we are uploading it our, at our new file folder.
okay, directory listing successful and uh, if we give this uh, well we can create folder also I mean under our website the website is rajweb.site90.net in this website this file uh, in the HTML file uh, we have a website uh, page or well, we have done it and if we <coughs> go to a subfolder like new file dot com uh, new file slash or new file will get what well, we can change uh, create the folder so this way we uh, we have basically integrated the filezilla ftp client with the triple zero web host uh, platform I mean triple zero web host server so we are connected uh, through this uh, filezilla software uh, to our web server at triple zero web host in our next uh, session we are going to learn how, how we can upload uh, uh, wordpress uh, uh, at our triple zero web host server using this ftp client okay, using this uh, filezilla software and uh, and after that we will have our uh, wordpress basically at our hosting i mean at our website and WordPress, we can use any theme, anything uh, at WordPress if we install WordPress at our website. I mean, rajdemo90.net will be a WordPress website. Now it is a <coughs> static HTML page, index.html, and we will have WordPress under this um, web hosting so uh, pro, uh, basically I'm closing this one and I'll open a new one how to install uh, WordPress using filezilla client at triple zero uh, uh, com. I mean uh, at our website rajweb.site90.net so for now I'm closing the tutorials